What's going on YouTube? Back out here in the greenhouse again, checking out the peppers again. Trying not to call them super hots because they're mainly ahis, I guess, this year. But, doing pretty doggone good. Um, this one right here, was this the one? Yeah, this is the one where the TP method's not really doing so hot. Mainly because this plant underneath here is just kind of getting flattened over and the other guys are just kind of growing up on top of it. But, eh, whatever. It's working, I guess. It's still growing. It's not dying. You'll see some of that later. Um, not really dying, but close. We've got pods starting to pop off on these guys all over the place. Look, there's another one right there. These are all ahi lemon. And they're looking great. There's a nice little pod right there. Put my finger behind it looking good um, some of the plants like this guy right here not looking so hot um, one of the problems you have when you do this kind of method where you have multiple plants in uh, like one container is one will get bigger before the other guys do uh, what the heck's up with this leaf I don't like that leaf and it's chewed on um, but one of the problems you'll have is um, some of them will grow roots better than others those roots go into the water, they start using up a lot of water, especially when they start putting off pods, and they start drinking the water a lot. And uh, what it'll do is say this plant has big roots and this one doesn't. Well, the water level goes down, and then this guy has a harder time uh, getting water, and then it'll start wilting up like this. Kind of like uh, you're not taking care of your plant or something like that. But that's why it's good to check out your plants, like, every day, really. Um, Every day after it's nice and hot, I'll come out here, and that's why I keep extra cups laying around, and I'll take a cup full of water out of the reservoir, dump it in on the top, and let it trickle down, and next thing you know, your plant looks nice that night. That night. <laughs> Here's another little pod. Here's another, and we're just coming right into Podville here, so <laughs> next stop, Podville. Um, another guy right here, another one starting to form right there. Here's another little guy. Heck yeah, man. Look at the size of this guy already. That one just popped off too. More right here, another one right down here. All over the place. Um, and again, these were all just ahi lemon drops. Um, I thought there was something else noteworthy here. Buds popping off everywhere. Um, some of the, see, here's another one. A little wilty and everything, not looking so hot. That's another thing you'll find. Um, Let's see. Don't I have one like that over here? Yeah, like this guy. Top of the plant. Well, I guess that's kind of looking a little wilty and stuff too. But top of the plant, not so bad. Bottom of the plant, looks like crap. Um, the This one is what? My mixed bag here. We're just starting to get some buds popping off here. Uh, who was that? Kiero? No, that's yellow naga brain. Um, what the heck is this sucker here? Isn't this... Who are you? That's a Kyoto cream. Look how short and stocky this little guy is. It's really bunching up down here at the base. Got a little bit of like sunburn going on in there. But it also is getting long and lanky too. So just let that thing do what it wants. There's another Kyoto cream in here. Um, boot orange Copenhagen across the pineapple. And another one right here. Um, what was this? My other Kyoto cream. Yeah, the Kyoto creams don't really... Eh, maybe I'll have to water that one. I was going to hold off on this guy and just let it go. Because the more you make it work usually, don't quote me on this, but usually what will happen is the thing will actually start reaching down with its roots into the reservoir and sometimes it'll encourage them to go ahead and grow their roots just a little bit faster than they normally would. Sometimes. Or you might just kill your plant. So, like I said, good idea to come out and just double check on your plants and give them a water if they need it. Especially when it's like 100 degrees out, they probably are going to need some water even if the roots are good, sometimes they're just going to need water. And then you get over here. These guys are just getting gigantic, man. Um, wait, who the heck are all these guys? Ah, uh, that's right. This is my Jibito station. All these are Ahi uh, Jibito. And here's another good example. That's uh, still kind of... Actually, it is pretty wilty. Maybe I'll have to water everybody. Uh, I just got done watering a pile of them that are coming up here. Um, but these are Ahi uh, Jibito. Actually, I don't think I saw a pod on here. I see buds all over the place. Look, buds all over right here. Flower over here. But I don't think I saw a single pod on this stuff. And these guys are getting pretty big. I think this guy's getting big, setting up this giant offshoot here. Um, and again, because I trimmed the bottoms up so much, they're just, they look like brand new plants popping up there. Um, who else? Uh, might as well show off this guy over here. 
this uh, huge beeto. Look at this guy, man. That's a whole extra plant that's on there because this is the top here. This, eh, it's kind of wilty. I'll have to water that guy. I was trying not to, but what the heck? Gonna have to. And what the heck for the heck of it? Let's see if we got some roots. Oh, we do have some roots going on. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Look at those roots. And look how low the water level is already. <laughs> yeah. These are some of the better rooted guys. And remember, they just came out, what, not too long ago, and the roots were being all squashed in the bottom of the reservoir? That's how much they've grown in just a few weeks, so... You give them room to stretch out, and they will take advantage of it. Um, let's see, hop back this way. Yeah. Oh, let me say something else. Oh, but yeah, once they get those roots starting to go, then they really start taking off, but... Right now, we're still in that in-between stage. Look at that big old pod on there. It's awesome. Uh, we're kind of in that in-between stage right now where they don't know what they want to do. Uh, here's another great example. Um, let's see what the roots are on these guys. Nothing. <laughs> okay. These are my newest plants out here. Nothing there. Get your leaf out of the way. All right. Uh, these are both two Kangstar white ties. I have, or no, that's three. There's three over there, that's right. I had four, but that one's no longer here. Remember the ahi pineapples? They were like long and lanky looking things. They've got brand new um, plants just starting to take off here right at the base. Look at my stupid fingernail, gross. Um, and same with this guy right here, another one. I mean, look at that, this long and lanky. Get them out in the sunlight, and now we have all this bush action going on over here. Same with this guy right over here. So I'm glad I got a few of these guys going. Um, oh yeah, I did um, on these guys and that one and this one. I raised the water level a little bit because like I said, some plants use water a little bit more than the other guys and well, sometimes you just got to compensate. Either come out here every single night and water them or you're going to, you know, just bring up your water level a little bit. Um, so hopefully they, the water level comes up. Everybody's roots go down, and you don't have to worry about watering until the end of summer. Hopefully. Um, over here, I guess this would be my Sugar Rush station, because... Got a Sugar Rush going already. Uh, actually, I think that was one one of the ones that were uh, inside whenever, uh, you know, it was indoor growing. Got some more pods starting down here. There's two right there, some flowers and stuff. Here's another pod right there. Um, they're all just jumbled mess right here, and it's kind of hard to tell who is who. This is one, wait, this is a big old freaking extension piece here. What the heck was that? I guess that's the neighbors, because my dog's freaking out. Um, but where is that plant? This plant right here, that's a little offshoot here. See some buds on there. Um, where does that thing go? That eh, goes all over the place, but here's the top, one of the pieces, no, that's not a piece of the top, that's a different one, whatever, it's a jumble mess here. Um, but we've got a whole pile of things going on, look at this, buds everywhere, all over these guys. Um, this guy in the back here, this one, look how bad that one looks, it's horrible, like I killed it. Um, and it's got a big old pot on there, see that? <laughs> but it's doing okay, I just watered that one, I watered a bunch of these ones in here just for the heck of it. Um, some problems I'm seeing, like that right there, you can see that stalk is bent. I, I've been seeing that on a bunch of different plants in here. That's the first time. Really don't normally ever have that happening. What the heck's up with this leaf? Eh, no longer there. Um, yeah, and uh, I keep seeing these, man. And some holes from le some leaf hoppers, but they're never around when I come in here. Yeah, they better not be. Feed them to the fish. Um, who else do we got? Wow, look at this. Talk about, this is going to be Podville right down here. All kind of buds all over the place. Um, and a lot, this one's just loaded up with buds everywhere on it. And a lot of these are, I mean, these are Sugar Rush, all of them. But, dang, oh, mosquitoes again? Already? Is it that late already? Um, but look at that. Just branching up like crazy, just all over the place. Um, moving on, got another Sugar Rush here, not looking so hot. Again, it's just been really hot, so it's just kind of hard to keep up with it. Um, I kind of like watering them in the middle of the night, but, uh, you know, mosquitoes and stuff. I've got another mosquito. Uh, the rest of these guys, ahi mango. Look at this ahi mango back here. Let's get back here. Look at this thing. Looks like I'm trying to kill it. Um, I just watered that guy, so hopefully it'll be okay. We got flowers popping. Look at this, man. 
It's just horrible. Um, look at that. Ugh. Yeah, maybe that one's not going to make it. I don't know. Um, a bunch of flowers over here looking great. Come over here. We've got a bud or a pod starting right here. Looking good. Um, where the other pods go? Oh, man, look at that. What the heck is that old boat? I don't know, but it's gone now. Um, yeah, the rest of these are all ahi mangoes. I've got a nice ahi mango right here. Wait, there's another one over here. There's one right there. Nice ahi mango. Another ahi mango. Another one starting right there. These are just your typical example of ahis. As soon as they start taking off, they just go nuts, man. And they just explode with growth. Look at this. Whole branch just sticking straight out over here. We've got a pod right there. Um, no, that's about to be a flower. Got a pod right here. Um, don't you love how the camera never focuses on the foreground? Only the background. Um, but those are all ahi mangoes. These guys over here, more ahi mangoes. Look, got one poking straight up. Love that with flowers right next to it. Looking good. Uh, plant overall, not looking so hot. Uh, watered that one again, too. Um, more growth popping up. Ah, look at that leaf. That leaf looks like a that looks horrible, man. Freaking leaf hopper in here somewhere. Um, that's why it's important to cut your grass. Keep them at bay. Um, who else do we have? Yeah, some of these aren't looking so hot. TP method kind of failing me here a little bit. The uh, one thing with this TP method is uh, they all tend to want to grow one way or another, and so you're constantly, like every couple days, just moving, turning the cups a little bit so they all face inward until they get enough strength to stand up on their own. Um, Man, this next guy really has some damage. Um, but yeah, it's sticking way out here into the owl. I'll have to turn that guy. Uh, more ahi mangoes. These guys are getting nice and tall already. And you can see they're starting to get all loaded up with buds and flowers and all that stuff. Uh, don't really see any pods over here, but look, leaf damage. What the heck is going on? More leaf damage right there. Uh, what was that other one I just saw? Uh, a big old oh, well, here's one here uh, I don't see any freaking leaf hoppers I'm sure that's the way they want it but I'll find you soon enough there little guys but these guys are doing pretty good I don't think I see any pods on these guys which is pretty weird because these are the tallest ones out of all of the plants and they're all kind of standing up on their own uh, doing pretty good that sucks Oh well, but uh, yeah, just the very tops, I guess, are having buds popping off all over the place, so looking good. That's just about it. Look around here at some of my peppers, like that one back there looks like I'm torturing it. Um, eh, we'll just call it an experiment, right? If you do that, everything's all good. Hey, look, there's another garden. Um, but anyway, that's it for me. Um, just wanted to walk around, show off some of my plants and what's growing on with them. Uh, some of these awesome little pods here looking great. So hopefully uh, next week we'll have even more pods to be showing off. So, All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me. If you made it this far, um, why don't you stick around? So hit that subscribe button. When you're down there hitting that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell. That way you get notifications, um, especially when we go live like we did on Friday night. Another fun live stream. Come and hang out, and uh, who knows, maybe uh, you meet some new people and uh, find some cool people to subscribe up to. In the spirit of that, why don't you hop down in that comments section down below, leave a comment, not just for me, I love all the comments, but that way all of my friends that come to my video, they can see you and your channel, and maybe they'll go and subscribe up, because I ask everybody to hop in the comments section, find someone new, watch all their videos, give them tons of thumbs up, hey, thumbs up, thumbs up on videos are great. Um, or give it a thumbs down. Who cares? They count the same to me. Um, but anyway, um, and not only that, but if you give me a thumbs down, hey, man, maybe I'll make a whole series on whatever video you didn't like. <laughs> That'll make you happy. Anyway, uh, yeah, do that uh, fun, happy social media stuff. Uh, Mystery Amazon link is down below. If you want to find out what's on it, it's just some cool products that I found. And uh, <clears throat> I just throw a link down there. I'll get credit for driving them traffic. I don't know how it works. Um, but yeah, do all that fun, happy social media stuff down below, and I will catch y'all in the next video, where hopefully I have more pods. So, till then, later.